I can't be the only one to come back to win. Oh, right. <laughs> That's you know, right, Jay. Right. Lose the title and then come back and get it again. The only one, so. This is the craziest piece of information ever. Jay Cutler had high hopes for Nick Walker ahead of the 2021 Mr. Olympia. He says it was shape that let Hunter Labrada beat Nick. Let's see what Cutler thinks of Walker's physique. Jay Cutler. American bodybuilder Jason Isaac Cutler is now retired from competition. Cutler has finished in the runners-up position six times and has won Mr. Olympia four times in 2006, 07, 09, and 2010. I'm around his age, 27. It was the first year I landed uh, second to Ron. Massive build, meaning like he's got a lot of round muscle, massive arm. Cutler has appeared on the covers of fitness publications like Muscle and Fitness, Flex, and Muscular Development during his career. Since 2013, he hasn't participated in competitions. Oh, no one, I was 255. Wow. Hit in 09, when I came back from quad stomp, I was 254. Wow. So there it is. Instead, he's concentrated on Cutler Nutrition, his line of bodybuilding supplements, as well as other online business endeavors. In terms of size, he is at a height of 5 foot 9 inches, arms 21 inches, chest 58 inches, waist 34 inches, thighs 30, and weighs 259 pounds. But before all the ripped stature and muscle came about, he started young. At the age of 11, he began working as a construction worker. At the age of 18, he started working out in the gym. He later became a professional and won many competitions. What was your best look? Was your best look at your lightest weight? Yeah, ah. 50, 255. 73, my first Olympia victory. Nick Walker. American professional bodybuilder Nick Walker, on the other hand, competed in the open division. The second most renowned bodybuilding and fitness competition in the world, the 2021 Arnold Classic, saw him take first place there recently. He goes by the moniker The Mutant. Walker's current body weight is 45 pounds heavier than his most recent competition weight of 250 pounds, which is about six months before the 2022 Mr. Olympia. The bodybuilder claims that the recomposition phase of his training has begun, which involves reducing fat while gaining muscle. Even with such a change, Walker seems to be the master of consistency. This is like what bodybuilding is now. I think the other guys are too big. Everybody I talk to, I say, what are you striving for? Classic. No one says open body. Walker provided an update on his 295 pound physique and his present training on June 8, 2022. He is continuing to get ready for the Mr. Olympia in 2022, which will be held in Las Vegas, Nevada from December 16 to 18 after winning the 2020 NPC North American Championships. Everyone's too big. And, and, too big. and we all get caught up in it, guys. Size, size, size will take care of itself if you're conditioned enough, if you're sharp enough. Jay Cutler on Nick Walker. Jay Cutler thinks Nick Walker's career will keep going well from here on out. When certain people in bodybuilding speak, they get a lot of attention. Jay Cutler is one of them for sure. After Nick Walker won the 2021 Arnold Classic, the legendary bodybuilder spoke out and said good things about his skills. Walker came on the scene as a promising new player. This happened a while back when he won both the 2021 New York Pro and the Arnold Classic. I just think Walker, you know, to who he's compared, but a super, super impression so far. He's got the condition. That's where he's going to beat everybody. Walker will go into the Olympia full of confidence and with a lot of momentum. Cutler thinks that Walker will do well on the most important stage in bodybuilding. He's taking the steps, dude. He's won New York, the same year Arnold Classic, and he's going to go to the Olympia, and he's probably going to be in the top five. I mean, not many guys have been able to do that, Cutler said. I think Nick could be second. I think he could land second. I think he could land third. Can he win it? I can't say no. Depends on how the other guys show up. But until we see him standing next to Bonac and Curry and Hadi Chupan and Rami, you don't know. People don't look at Nick Walker and Rami and and say, I can attain that in the next five years, right? Cutler thinks Walker has a lot of potential and knows what he has already done. Combined with his huge amount of self-confidence, this could lead to a very good performance. I was expecting more, if that makes sense. In no way is this to discredit what he's achieved or how he looks, because I'll say it right out, this guy, if he actually gets in the shape that expectations are, I think he can beat everyone but Raimi. Because of his structure, listen, the way he stands in a relaxed shot, his front lat spread, I mean the front double like he's got everything, Jay Cutler said. A lot of guys on that, that stage can't match his conditioning and he's right. got enough size, even though people think, oh, he's, you know, his structure's not as good. Possible rivalry between Jay Cutler on Nick Walker. So get this, according to Jay Cutler, Hunter Labrada's body is prettier than Nick Walker. Jay Cutler had a great deal of faith in Nick Walker's ability before the 2021 Mr. Olympia. 
As it turned out, Hunter Labrada defeated Nick, but Jay seems to have a grasp on what led up to it. Walker is a favorite of Cutler's, and the two have been compared frequently and have even collaborated on projects in the past. Naturally, the four-time Olympia champion had great hopes for Nick's first Olympia appearance, predicting that he may place as high as second. Jay Cutler, who has been in all three scenarios himself, offers some unique perspective here. It's safe to say that the 2021 Mr. Olympia was a thrilling competition from start to finish. According to him, Ramey's improved form in the finals was the deciding factor in his victory over Brandon. However, he claims that the two-time champion was not even close to a convincing victor. In the end, Nick finished fifth, just one spot behind the other young guns and one point below Hunter Labrada. You know, I was second when I was 27 for the wow. first time. So think about that. Yeah. I thought I was right there right. when I had Ronnie Coleman. Jay stated in a recent interview that he was shocked to see Hunter perform so well this year, but that Hunter's physical condition was the deciding factor in his victory over Nick, who was in better shape. I'm close to Nick, we stay in touch and I figured that there would be a battle, he would be in the mix there, we kind of knew that. Hunter surprised me because to go from 8th last year to a position where he could be at the top, I mean I figured he could push in the top 6, and I think it was always conditioned with him, meaning dryness, Cutler said. I think with Labrada it was the shape overweighed the condition in that decision. Listen, I'm not a judge so I don't like to say how I would have judged it, but it's hard because I'm definitely favorable towards Nick because of our relationship at this point. But listen, Hunter cannot be denied. I think you're looking at either one of those guys as a potential Mr. Olympia winner in the future. We didn't think he could be comparing these other bodybuilders to Walker, but he's the man and as one of the greatest of his kind, he might be right. And what we think is, he might start a rivalry with his great friend, who could soon become an acquaintance. Look at what he says. What I saw on Saturday night unravel, I saw Rami come back bigger, always the case. I think Brandon, he looked great. My understanding is that it was close on Friday night. On Saturday, I did see how Rami could pull it out. He's got overall size. He was conditioned enough. It was close. I don't think it was a hands-down slam dunk. I don't think it was as convincing as the year prior, but listen, it's all about circumstance and how people fall into each show. We talk about condition or size, but I just think it was closer than people think it was. Looks like the guy has a lot to say about some of these bodybuilding heavy hitters. Apparently, based on our personal breakdown and opinion, we think that Cutler might be having some reservations on Mr. Walker's physique. For instance, look what he says in this excerpt of his words about the showdown. Brandon was a bit fuller. I don't think he was conditioned as the year prior, but his legs were more balanced. Ramey definitely was off on Friday, there's no question. This was the question with the Arnold. How is he going to fare? I can't sit there and make a prediction on until he stands next to these guys. No one can make a prediction. I don't think that he was like he was the year prior, Cutler said. That's all for today's video. We'll see you next time.